Howdy, y'all. Emeril Lagasse here from Houston, Texas. Hey, I want to show you some of my favorite hangouts here in Houston. You know, the moment I step in Texas, I crave great barbecue. And no one does it better than good company. Hey, Jim. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. How's everything? Everything's going great. I got to tell you, man, I've been craving barbecue, and I I'm, can smell all of these wonderful smells. Well, you mind if we had a look? Yeah, let's take a good look. What people don't know is inside Good and Company is one thing, but this is the special rig, huh? Special rig, yeah. Why the shape of the beer bottle? We were planning on bottling our barbecue sauce. Everybody liked it. So I thought if we used a, a different shape in the, in the stores instead of just a mason jar, it'd get people's attention. Yeah. Well, what's inside? It smells good. We got a little chicken and brisket and ribs. Ooh, man. Look at this. It has convection air in it. Well, the key is the combination of wood, smoke, water, and just time, right? Time, it's a food right. of love thing. The inside cavity is this incredible, huge vessel that holds maybe four or 500 pounds of meats. He's even designed it where there is a fan that actually rotates the smoke so that it's not just clouding it up. It's an incredible rig. I, I wish he'd bring it to my house. Well, I know that you do it a little differently inside the yes, restaurant. Sir. Maybe we can get a little taste in there too, huh? Yeah, you bet. You All bet. right. I'll show you. We opened in 1977. We got all the photographs all over Texas. Everything here is so so much cement and business, and just wanted to build a little oasis here that was comfortable and had a little history in it. I see that uh, he's kind of doing the gym essence over there. Yeah. Dry marinade, right? Yes, sir. How long do you do that for? We usually cover it with film and, and put it in the cooler, leave it there overnight. Texas barbecue is no fuss, it's natural. There's not a lot of sugar. It's either a wet marinade or a dry marinade, and then it's the incredible flavor of the mesquite, and mostly beef. And then where does it go from here? It goes in the pit. All right. You he has these three yeah. incredible rotisserie ovens, sort of like a big old-fashioned baker oven, but he sort of texanized it uh, with this mesquite and the moisture. Now that's some brisket right there. Any particular length of time, Jim? Uh, some cooked for like 18 hours. 18 hours? At 200, 225. Wow. Got about 50% uh, shrinkage. 50% shrinkage. Well, I'll tell you, the flavor is so intense. And that's all wood fed from in yeah, the back. That's all green mesquite. It's the smoke is what they want. It's not so much the heat. <laughs> They start stoking the wood and then slowly start applying it to the right amount of smoke for the barbecue. Well, we have wow. a little mixed, uh, we got turkey, we ham, all the ribs, we got duck, we got chicken, everything. Boy, Jim, I gotta tell you, that's really impressive. Thank you. You've wet my appetite enough. Right. So this is a jalapeno sausage. This is right. Oh, well, that's delicious. That's the famous brisket, huh? Mm. Well, the great things about coming to these kind of places in America, like Good Company, is their passion for food, using quality ingredients, using these techniques. He's a fantastic. So that the barbecue that he does representing Texas is the best that he knows how to do. And so moist. So, Jim, I guess now you can maybe get a little, little plate of this and maybe you and I can just take it easy and just chow down a little bit. Sounds good. I got most of what I wanted in here. It smells and looks delicious. I'm so excited about sitting down to eat. Hey, when we come back, I'm going to show you some of my favorite barbecue. And we got a lot of places to visit, so stick around. Shall we?